<laughs> London. Thanks, Foreman. London. <laughs> We got to stop saying stuff to each other right before the song ends. Are we on and then we're, London yeah. Spear Country 93? This is the David Rachel Show. Ask me are. what's on my mind. What, this is, what is on your mind, Dave? Well, not very much because I got hit in the head. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not good. I'll explain. Okay. There you go, yeah. Dave, Rachel, and Foreman. Your Country 93's Dave and Rachel Show. Hey, what's on your mind? I'm a little woozy this morning. Uh-oh. I'm woozy. What happened? I went to get gas at Costco, which can be problematic at times. And it's it's uh, busy. Mm. At the it's You know the best time to go there really early in the morning? Really, really early. You that's get the, gas. That's you're the in, best you're time out. to go to any Costco yeah, exactly. for anything ever. Every time I go to get gas at, a, at Costco, I feel like I could tell a story about something that happens. <laughs> Someone that can't figure out how to, how to do it. Mm. Someone who can't get their card to work. Someone who can't pull around. Someone. Anyway, long story short, I went yesterday and I just take the quickest wherever I can go to get gas fast. And people will often wait in longer lines because their gas tank is on that side. Yes. Does that make yeah. sense? Okay. But you don't have to. You don't the have to. The hoses are long enough to reach And around. they tell you are that uh, yeah. the Costco ones are particularly long. And I went on the very the very end. Okay. I start getting my gas and uh, it's my tank's on the other side. So I'm standing in the lane where you can drive by. Oh, okay. There's a truck waiting behind me. And it appears to me like the guy in front of me has left. And I think the guy doesn't want it. He doesn't think there's enough room to get by. Mm. So I nod at him. I'm going, you know, I wave my head because my hand's busy doing stuff. Come ahead. So he starts driving ahead and he's going by me. And I think he's got it. He's got room. Our mirrors are close, but he's getting by me. Mm-hmm. He's going. I'm looking. His truck's almost by me. Mm-mm. And I'm looking and I went, you did it, buddy. And then, <laughs> bam. <laughs> He's got a couple Uh-oh. of uh, snow blowers in the back of his truck. Okay. And uh, the handle of the snow blower, oh, no. of one of the snow blowers, is hanging out the right hand side. Oh, boy. It's out like. Yeah. And it. Uh, so I'm looking completely the other way, right. and I got smoked oh, by the handle. Wow. Of his in the back snowblower. of the head? Not in the back, in the side. In the side. The whole oh. side of my head. Boom. Oh, that's too bad. Boom. I'm surprised oh. you came into work today. I, a little I, rattled? Let's, I, yes, I, I could have taken the day off. Right. I might say something. A but head who knows? injury? That's right. Right. I might be off my uh, game today. Yeah. You never know. Because I was, I was weak in the knees. Sure. My goodness. I almost dropped. That was dropped. Uh-huh. Hey, hey now I know you and my mom have something in common now. Really? Oh, Why? I'm so Did happy. Did she get smoked in the head too? Well, once upon a time, my dad dropped a snowblower on my mom down the stairs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a way better story than mine. <laughs> have to and meet shorter you. too. Yes, way shorter. <laughs> London's Pure Country 93. This is the Dave and Rachel show. Time for good idea, bad idea. How about pickle juice in a can? Huh. Huh. Without the pickles. No pickles, no just pickle. the juice. Just the juice. All right. It's time for another good idea, bad idea. Yes, canned pickle juice is now a thing. You can stop drinking it straight from the jar. <laughs> um, well. <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you about People this. People aren't drinking it straight though are they i don't think so no you're using like the the pickle juice like the brine for Um, caesars and mixed drinks you're just mm -hmm. using a little bit so i do actually use the juice from the pickle jar for a drink for it to make a but i i truly believe that like many treats it's it's you either love pickle juice or you don't Mm. and if you really love pickle juice You'd probably drink it, wouldn't you? Even if there wasn't vodka or whatever you want uh, to put in it. I Wouldn't you? If you really like it, I guess, yeah. Gordy's Fine Brine. Fine Brine. Yes. Okay. Now, it's made for cocktails. Oh, is it? Okay. Yes. Sure. Pickle that makes juice sense. in cans. But you can now drink it straight if you want to from a 12-ounce can. 
It's uh, an American thing. I don't know whether we're going to have it here yet, but it seems to me that if somebody was smart enough, they would make it here in Canada. Why would I think you? it's fine if you're not it, say if you're going somewhere and you don't want to take a jar of pickles, uh, you could just pick up one of these cans, and that's you can make your drinks with that. I see. If I'm at home, I'm just going to use the pickle juice jar, like the, from the jar of pickles. Well, here here's a uh, a great message we actually received from. Local known and beloved singer Genevieve Fisher. Yes. Good idea, guys. Trust me, as a professional Caesar maker, I need just the pickle juice without the pickles. Or to also brine my chicken for fried chicken. Oh, so okay. good there idea. You go. and we have, good idea. We have uh, a couple of texts this morning. I drink from the jar. <laughs> really? Here's another. <laughs> Straight from the jar. Oh, my. Really? And one more. I drunk it straight. It's delicious. I drunk it. Oh. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> I didn't know people drank pickle juice you. straight, actually. <laughs> I've never tried it, so. Hey. I guess I can't judge straight. Apparently, here you juice. go. Uh, straight from the jar, especially after a heavy night of drinking. Great hangover cure. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, that's good to know. Well. Now you can drink it straight out of a can. Now you've got a whole can Keep of it. Your yeah, pickles in your jar without the pesky pickles yeah, in the way. The, yeah, without pickles, those don't pickles, get in the way. Those pickles <laughs> getting in your way when you're okay. Drinking. So great idea. I guess so. all around. Sure, yeah. Good idea. When it's Pure Country 93, David Rachel Show Foreman's here. The Foreman family went out and uh, did some shopping. Oh, Foreman family fun. Foreman family got skates. All right. Nice. Let's, that's exciting. Let's talk. All right. Hey, hey, what's up? You're listening to Dave and Rachel, my new best friends for life for forever. Nothing makes me uh, sit up and take notice and want to just sit back and relax and take it all in when uh, there's a... You know, some Foreman family fun. <laughs> we got skates. Not all of you. All four of you? Everybody. Well, Ashley had some old skates. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, and so, and I haven't had skates for several years. Mm. Oh, so, so I actually have skates now. Did you buy some skates? Yeah. Good for you. But And, and Emily, she's two, and she's got the little blades to attach to her boots. Yeah. Nice. Because, yeah. you know, she's two, and that's... That's, that's fine. a lot to have full, no, full blown fine. skates. Two like the Bob that's skates? Fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And Harley, who's six, has her first pair of real skates. Mm. And now what are we going to do? Well, why don't we go skating? <laughs> Let's get skate. Do you want skates? Should we go skating? We'll make this part of your Christmas present? Yeah, let's get skates. Mm -hmm. Let's all have fun. Get skates. Sounds fun. Get in the car. Just leaving the parking lot. After you bought all the skates. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I'm never going skating, ever! <laughs> You're making you. me sad! Is that your six-year-old? Sad? You're making me sad. I don't want to skate, and you're making me skate, and I'm never going to skate. <laughs> Why? Where, where did that come from? I don't know. I thought we were having fun at the store. Yes! You're, uh, I'm sorry, did I hear, was that thank you? Did that, is that the two yeah. words I heard and nothing else? <laughs> you're, you're welcome for this Christmas present? Yeah, I'm glad Early? that you got me some skates <laughs> so we can have some fun, form and family fun yeah. at the rink. Why? <laughs> what a, I mean, she's going skating. <laughs> yeah, she's doing, well, you've bought the skates now. You're absolutely. using them. We are going out yeah. and you are having fun. Yes. Yeah. You yeah. hear me? <laughs> this is like being at the Apple Orchard at yeah. the public skating. Yeah, that's exactly how I felt at Apple Land. <laughs> exactly. I, we bought skates for our kids, and so this year my oldest is in skating lessons. Okay. Does she like it? Yes, she really likes it. The two-year-old, we thought, okay, well, maybe we'll get, because she kept saying, I want to skate, I want to skate, oh, like great. Julia, my sure. big sister. Yeah. So we said, okay. So we tried to get her into skating lessons two weeks in a row. Would not even put her snow pants on. So I didn't realize, I forgot to tell her she's got to wear snow pants. And that was the straw that broke the camel's back for that day. Okay, so it's and not now, really... And now, then we all went as a family for like a public skate. So we thought, oh, maybe she'll go with us, right? We'll go. Yeah. Nope, wouldn't go. So she sits in the box while the rest of us skate around. <laughs> and then the other day she says to me, this is my two-year-old, Kendall says, Mommy, are we going to the arena? And you and Daddy and Julia are going to skate. And I said, no, today is Julia's skating lessons, so she's just going to skate. And she's like, no, I want the three of you to skate. 
And I said, are you going to skate with us? She's like, no, but you're going to skate, and I want you to skate. And then that was a meltdown. It's completely nonsensical. So this ha- I feel you. This happens to me every day of my life. There is a saving grace, though, in my case. Mm. I got a phone call on this way home from the skating store, <laughs> and it was Brian. Well, I'm embracing the winter up here. Oh, oh. There's a storm that's supposed to be coming. Oh, so Brian, Brian's okay. on the Bluetooth throughout the vehicle. Sure. Oh, really? Brian, here's the commotion going on. Right. Uh-huh. And it says, you know, Harley, I have a granddaughter who's the exact same age as you. Mm. And she has skates. She didn't want to skate, and now you can't get her off her skates. Mm. And in fact, all of her friends have skates. There and they go. all go skating together all the time. Wow. And I'm glancing at Harley in the mirror. Yep. And you could, I can see the wheels like... <laughs> Brian's getting through <laughs> to her. The wheels are turning. They're turning. Yep. yep. And I think Brian has saved the Foreman family. Well, 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 well. Well, you know, up in St. Mary's where Brian, of course, lives, people, I, I think you're in skates like six months of the year anyway. Sure, yeah. yeah they never take them off up there. Brian's no, like just... saving winter up there now because he's a snowplow driver. Snowplow driver's got his skates. So he probably yeah. skates at the quarry, for goodness yeah. sake. He skates on over to his snowplow. And Family then... therapist. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, he, he does he it do? all. He does yeah. it all. There we go. <laughs> London's Pure Country 93. It's the David Rachel Show. Good idea, bad idea. The uh, many uh, different candy cane flavors maybe you didn't know existed. Okay. And maybe you did know some of these existed, but you can get them all in one place. Hmm. Here we go. All right. <laughs> it's time for another good idea, bad idea. Let's talk Christmas. <laughs> candy canes. Sure, why not? There's all kinds of flavors. Like, every year I feel like there's a new flavor coming there, in. Well, yeah, I guess. Some of which should be left alone, though, don't you think? Like, yeah. for instance, um, when you go to this website, Archie McPhee, uh, McPhee.com, feel free to go there if you want. I don't care. You can buy all kinds of ridiculous things, mm. like kale candy canes. What? Kale. kale like oh, this, I've heard Like of that. the lettuce? That's... Yes. Bad idea. Yeah, all the flavor of kale with none of the nutrition. <laughs> Bad idea. Pizza candy canes. Pizza. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. No. Good idea. I yeah. don't think so. Ham de canes. Ham, ham. Like ham? <laughs> Bad idea. As in pig ham? Like pork? Yes. yes. Pig ham. <laughs> Tastes like a slice. Yes, pig ham. Like Rachel. ham from pigs? Tastes like a slice of ham. <laughs> As opposed to yeah. which other kind of ham? <laughs> Tastes <laughs> deli fresh. No. Mm. Mac and cheese candy cane. Wow, mm. okay. Bad idea. Mm. Uh, they have pickle candy canes. Yeah. Based on what we, the pickle juice, people are really into that. You can get pickle toothpaste, so. Can you? Really? Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Bacon candy canes as well. They have ham and bacon, just to differentiate. For some mm-hmm. reason, the bacon doesn't sound like that bad of an idea. All and right. I don't know why. All right. Well, <laughs> does. Then I move on to clam decanes. Oh, gross. Ew. Bad idea. No gross, gross, gross. I don't even know what to say about that. Maybe you got something we no. like, Foreman. Yes. Yeah, everyone, who doesn't like Bailey's original Irish cream? And already at the LCBO, you can get Bailey's vanilla cinnamon, uh, Bailey's chocolate cherry, mm. Bailey's salted caramel. I've heard of all of that. Bailey's yes. almond, Bailey's pumpkin spice, Bailey's strawberries and cream. Oh, really? That yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, those are all currently available flavors. Bailey's espresso. Uh huh. Now there's the new Bailey's red velvet. Oh. Sounded like a like limited cake. edition. Did Red you... velvet cake flavored Baileys. Yeah, that sounds okay. Yeah. Good idea. What? I don't drink a lot of Baileys because I, I don't like it in my coffee. Are you a Mm-mm. human being or a cyborg? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. I just like, I try just regular flavored coffee and I don't like that either. I just have my coffee with a little bit of cream and like to have a shot of Baileys in a coffee is like too, it's too much for me. But don't also add the cream. No, I'm not. I'm just saying like a shot of Baileys <laughs> is more cream than I would add anyway. So I it's... understand not wanting to have Baileys in your coffee because you're not, you don't want to drink in the morning. Uh, yeah. You don't yeah. want all that sugar. You yeah. Don't want all that stuff. But to say that you don't enjoy the flavor of it. I don't it's an really. abomination. Yes. I don't know how I can deal with that. <laughs> okay. Well, someone says just put ice in your Baileys. It's nice for sipping. Sure. Yeah. Uh, here's another. Uh, put, uh, oh, here we go. Put Baileys in your strawberry daiquiris. 
Yeah, oh, you know, that would be uh, okay. Uh, Rachel, Some... Bailey's is wonderful in hot chocolate. Oh, yeah, I could see that. Let me tell you what It's to put. sweet anyway, right? Because my know, coffee is not sweet, so. You want to know what to put in your hot chocolate? What? And you will never go back? What? <laughs> Peppermint schnapps. Oh. oh. Yeah, that would be good. It's really, Like mint hot chocolate? It's almost too good. <laughs> good idea. <laughs> I'll it's never go back. too good, yeah. I got your country. Countdown. Hey, it's Bobby Bones. Coming up this weekend, we'll find out what made Old Dominion say this. I wasn't sure. I just remember we were texting back and forth at one point and said, you know, this is an important song. One of us has to do it. And we'll find out if Cole Swindell can hang on for a second week at number one with Love You Too Late. It's the Country Top 30, powered by the great Canadian meat company. Eat some energy. Power up. Saturday afternoon at 2 and Sunday morning at 6. Right here on London's Pure Country 93. London's Pure Country 93. It's the Dave and Rachel Show. The universal count mm. for misbehaving children. Mm-hmm. I've always assumed, Foreman, if I get to the count of three, you are in big trouble, mister. Right. Well, you can do three or maybe five you can do. All right. Let's talk. Five. Here we go. Hey. The Dave and Rachel Show. Pure Country 93. Pure Country 93. No, it's three. Any kid who's ever been in trouble is in trouble when you count two, three. One, yeah. two, two, don't let me get to three. three. All two right. and a half. Into your room. Close the door. Three. <laughs> One, two, you get to the count of three. Right. Always. Always. That's Isn't the, that, well, that's you, universally yes. accepted. Yeah. Sure. You could do five, though. Like, there are times I, do, I use three, and then there are times where I might use five. Right? Because my kids, the older one especially, doesn't react until I get to like one or I'm done saying one and then she scrambles to do what she's supposed to do. Mm-hmm. That's right? the whole point. But the little one just doesn't give a, you know. Well, it takes a while before they learn what the one, two, three. No, but she you, doesn't. Yeah. Well, uh, you still give her to the count of three. And if she doesn't do it, you here you go. A timeout, right. something. But three. Why? Right. What do you? What's your count? N- Three usually, but sometimes I'll do five. Like if five. it's maybe five. if it's like okay, time to get out of the bathtub and nobody wants to get out. I go five, four, three, two, and then they jump out. Oh, they're... you're counting down. Mm-hmm. Sometimes, yeah, but if if That's they're really in trouble, then I count one, two, three. I I try and avoid saying one, two, three because I don't want to have to give a timeout unless it's absolutely necessary, oh, and no. I will follow through. So I really, I don't want to make the threat unless I'm prepared at that moment to follow through. I can't believe anyone goes more than three. Why? I, this happened to me the other day. I won't say her name yet because I haven't talked to her about this, <laughs> that this is going to be public. Hello. But our, our friend, uh, whose daughter is the same age as our daughter and yeah. their friends, we're all at, at their dance class the other night. Yeah. And trying to get the, okay, now you got to get all your pants on, your boots on, your coats, mm. all that stuff. And she gives her daughter, she said, okay, come on. One, two, three, four. No! And then her daughter starts listening. No! And then, and, but I looked over and I said, no! How did you get to four? <laughs> Like, don't go to four. I, it was so foreign to my ears to hear the number four. You don't go to four. You go to, to you, three. to you, it just ends at three. Yes. No matter what. Then you're, you're picking up the kid and going, all right. In well, the yeah, car, what are, boots exactly on. Exactly no. what are you doing? Maybe give them two extra seconds so that you don't have to discipline them in front of everybody well, right there. Usually the time between one and two is far less than the time between two and three. You can give well, a yes. big, long pause. Two and a half. Well, then... Two, two and three, three quarters. quarters. <laughs> but it's still yep. three. Still it's three. still three. <laughs> Don't, you know. It's it still ends three. up being five anyways. No, you're it gonna doesn't. You're going to say two and a half. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the text. Uh, hey. My two-year-old daughter counts one, two, three, time out to me when I'm making her mad. <laughs> <laughs> then proceeds to say, Mommy, you go sit in time out. Mm. She never gives me to five. <laughs> no. There's another. More punishment for every number over three. Oh. For instance, four, you lose your Halloween candy. Five, your electronics are gone. Oh. And six, you're going to boarding school. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm assuming you haven't made it to six. Yeah, I hope not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dave and Rachel. 
London's Pure Country 93. It's the David Rachel Show. Good idea, bad idea. Uh, a ranch dressing stocking. Huh. <laughs> a whole stocking of ranch Filled dressing. Filled with ranch dressing. Yeah. It's time for another good idea, bad idea. The uh, stocking, which already, uh, without even describing it to people, people are texting OMG yes. <laughs> I put <laughs> ranch on everything. Yeah. Ranch dressing, stocking sounds amazing. <laughs> I am, uh, I don't get ranch dressing personally. I don't yeah. get it. Uh, I feel like, and please uh, uh, direct uh, all of your hate to Dave. Okay. Uh, I feel like. <laughs> if you're Good put- idea. If you're putting <laughs> ranch dressing on stuff, I feel like you should be eight years old. <laughs> Right, because wow. that's how you get kids. I don't think try, try carrots, kids. They're good. Uh, let me put a little ranch dressing on and see if you like it better. Hey, my okay. daughter Harley is six, and that's how she won't eat cooked broccoli or cooked carrots but unless raw broccoli dipped in ranch. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm telling she'll you, she'll eat it all up. And mm-hmm. how old is she again? Six. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. That's I'm my not. Point. A, I'm not agreeing with Dave again. All your hate mail can go to Dave, not <laughs> Foreman. You can send all the hate. <laughs> send all the hate my way. I've got broad shoulders. And there's nothing bad just, with ranch dressing. I don't no, think no, there's just, nothing wrong with it. Uh, it's just I anyway. don't eat it really, right. but sure, if, it's, okay. if that's your thing, why not? All right. Well, if you truly love ranch dressing. You can get a whole stocking full. The people at Hidden Valley Ranch are taking pre-orders right now for a Christmas stocking (laughs) filled with ranch dressing. And seriously, I'm talking, this is a stocking made out of plastic with a spout on top. Oh, really? I'm not talking about several bottles of ranch. Yeah, that's what I thought. No, it's a ranch dressing stocking. That's an odd unit of measurement, a, a stocking, stocking of filled. dressing. But I'm picturing like a wool sock. No, wool it's plastic. Well, no, that would leak. No, that would leak. <laughs> that would plastic. be a very bad idea. Uh-huh. Good idea if you if you know someone who likes ranch, this is a good stocking stuffer. It is stuffed in or fact. Or just uh, the yeah. stocking. It's already stuffed. Yeah. You can direct your hate at Dave. Here's uh, Please, one. Please, yeah, uh, go have go. at it. Grow up, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, here's another so what Dave is saying, it's our mom's fault for uh, getting us hooked on ranch. Thanks, mm. mom. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, here's another. Don't get it for Foreman's mom, or you'll have it for three Christmases. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. I forgot about that. I'm surprised you remembered that. And she, by the way. We, I went to her place at Thanksgiving, and she had a whole, an array of dressings that were in the mudroom on their way out to be hidden so we wouldn't realize how much they th- she threw out before we visited. <laughs> she was trying to hide the evidence, and I caught her. Caught her. How old were Ale. the dressings? Oh, they're like 2006. <laughs> this is Foreman. Oh, That's my what she, goodness. Foreman's mom does that. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, thank you for doing the metric conversion for us. Uh, the 52-ounce ranch dressing stocking is one and a half liters. Okay. That's a lot of ranch. Yeah. All that right. is quite a bit. Uh, I believe Sean has a question. <laughs> Go ahead. Is ranch dressing not supposed to be refrigerated? <laughs> yeah. Well, probably. Uh, once it's opened. So we're going to open up a stocking of ranch dressing and hang it somewhere in the fridge? <laughs> yeah, I guess. You could have a large family gathering on Christmas and drain <laughs> that sucker in one day. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we've got Zach Brown Band tickets we're giving away on Monday. No, we got Garth Brooks tickets to give away Monday. No, we have both. <gasps> what? That's Monday morning on the Dave and Rachel Show on London's Pure Country 93. London's Pure Country 93. This is the Dave and Rachel Show. <laughs> it's time for Dear David Rachel. Uh, this week, my girlfriend had her breasts enlarged, but she's a little too proud of them. <laughs> What? If, if you know what I mean. I do not. I do not. Let's find really? out. Really? Okay. Well. I think Buddy Guy wants to get his free time. Because who doesn't want to hear about someone else's drama? Oh, this lady needs to grow up, grow up hair and get over herself. <laughs> Pure Country 93's Dear Dave and Rachel. <laughs> Those are unrelated <laughs> yes. comments. We yeah. love other people's drama. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Dear Dave and Rachel, I'm emailing you about my girlfriend because I'm not sure what to do. She's become a different person ever since she got her boobs done. She's oh. yeah, she's always dressed sexy, but now it's really over the top. 
Every outfit features her cleavage, and everyone stares. I actually caught my grandpa gawking at them the other day. It's not just men, but women too. And in fact, I would say some women stare, or women stare at them more than men do. <laughs> I should mention I did not ask her to get them done, and I thought she looked great before. I know she wants to show them off, but will it ever stop? I don't feel comfortable when we're out in public or now around my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> <We're grandpa. Aww. laughs> Any suggestions on how I should talk to her about it, or should I leave it alone? Well, I wouldn't. Okay. What yeah, do you th- poor grandpa. For poor you grandpa. Think? What a terrible well, thing. Well, grandpa. For I grandpa. Mean, I mean, you're the obvious. The whole point is so people look. Yes, it is. Yeah. You're you're dressed. You're doing well, it in no, a way it's not that is totally the point. It's un. It's too hard not to look. Sure. Well, she's purposely showing them off. Yes. So if you're doing that, then you want people to look, right? <laughs> and I get that. But at this, at this, people get their, uh, like I know women who have gotten theirs done after having babies. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. That's a big thing, you mm-hmm. know, after breastfeeding. Mm-hmm. Maybe they just don't. They, I've, I've known people to get enlargements and reductions, actually. Oh, yes. Sure. Goes both ways. So... There's lots of reasons for getting it done. Mm-hmm. Typically, the women that I know who have gotten them enlarged mm-hmm. is to look better, and they do enjoy showing them off because they've paid for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I also understand, though, that it's not if you get this done, you it's not for life. You got a good ten years, maybe. Oh, 10 really? To Twenty years, and then you are doing you are for sure doing it again. Oh, or oh, you're having know. something I, else done. Maybe I have no idea. I don't really yeah, know. I don't know. This is not in my area of expertise. This is going to happen for a, a little while, I would think, until maybe she gets a little bit used to it. Here's the text. God forbid she feel good about herself. I think mm. he's the insecure one because people notice his girlfriend now. Don't talk to her. Just let her feel good. Okay, right? that's yeah, fair. I mean, I get. Yeah, sure, I get that. Okay, what? she feels good. That's great. All right. Uh, <laughs> Here's one, though. Save your breath, buddy. Every story I've ever heard about a girl having this done ends with her leaving. Whoa. Oh, my. Maybe we are getting serious. Any All advice? Right. You're not going to buy a new truck and keep it in the garage. Exactly. Sure. You're going to at least I, leave the door open for, so people can see it. Yeah, right? I, I got me a BMW. I'm taking the top down. Yeah. <laughs> You know what right? I'm, as I'm well, saying. not all the way down. But, well, you know, most of You them, know. Well, here's the text. Listen, most get them done to increase their self-confidence because they're unhappy or insecure about their, their chest size in proportion to the rest of their body. Besides, if you fl- got, got them, flaunt them, it shouldn't bother others. Mm. I think maybe this this too will pass. I think you're probably this right. Maybe it's a, you know, maybe it's a, although here's another... Uh, my cousin's ex got her boobs done, cost a lot, and we all stared at them trying to figure out where the money all went. Mm. And that's- <laughs> if people, <laughs> Here's another text. I'm a busty lady, and I'm super proud of my assets, but there is a time and a place. Lounging around at home? Sure, throw on that tank top. Party? Yep, low-cut shirt. But on the day-to-day, I dress professionally. Be patient. Don't say anything to her. Eventually, someone else will. Ooh. Here's, here's another. My wife had them done over 10 years ago. They still look great. And yes, people look. But so what? She's still here with me. And she's happy with herself. Mm. He needs to relax. Yeah. Uh, here's the text. We have a girl at work that has had both a boob job and a butt job. Wow, both. Whatever makes her feel good about herself, it's her body. Well, that's true. Mm-hmm. I have questions about butt jobs, but that's a different story. That's a different topic. Well, here's, here's like. a, you so. should write us a, a Dear I David should Rachel. write a Dear David yeah, Rachel. But, right, but I just, I don't right want advice. Us. I just want ex- explanation. Anyway. Okay, all right. What do you got? To be honest, he should let it go. People are going to stare at big boobs, whether they're fake or not. Yes. I have a big chest naturally, and I catch all kinds of people staring all the time, <laughs> no matter what I'm wearing. Yeah. Here's another. I paid for my ex to get her new boobs, then... She started doing the, oh the whole boy, ta- the whole town, <laughs> the whole town. Oh my! Wow, well, that's too bad. <laughs> well, on that note, don't pay for someone else's. That's a lesson. Well, yeah, that's probably a bad, yeah. I- bad idea. <laughs> this is so not about her. So that's the wake up call. Much. It's clearly over. Drama. You are not. <laughs> Your Country 93's Dear Dave and Rachel, Wednesday mornings at 7.45. Good idea, bad idea to ban cheesy Christmas music. 
Well. <laughs> it's time for another good idea, bad idea. Very subjective, you know. Shop in York, England has banned playing cheesy Christmas music for the sake of staff morale. Oh. Wow. That is a great idea. Good idea. I don't know how you stand it if you work retail <laughs> during the holiday season. Everybody is going to want to work there. They will not be short a single employee this season. <laughs> yeah. And let me tell you something else. You know, there will be a radio station here where they go and they play all Christmas music from now until December 25th. Yeah. And the people that work at those radio stations... <laughs> Hate despite it. despite what they sound like, are miserable. <laughs> well, yeah, we used to I've have heard that. We, we had a station here. We that had used a station to play. here that did it. We didn't work at it, and boy, they were not happy campers. I liked listening to it, <laughs> but again, I wasn't working at that one, <laughs> so I wasn't sitting there all day I listening to it. So instead of hearing uh, "All I Want for Christmas Is You," Mariah Carey. Oh boy, nobody needs that's to hear what. That. That's not cheesy. It's oh, terrible. This is a Christmas classic. It's cheesy. All I want for Christmas is you. That's nice. Okay, that's enough. She's going to really break into she it. She doesn't and then, care about the presents then, under a Christmas tree. And Rachel will lose her stuff here shortly. So yes. turn it off. Thank you. You can't cut it off before she gets into it. So instead of hearing that, You're the worst. last Christmas, oh. stuff like that, the store will be filled instead. They're not banning all Christmas, mm. just cheesy. So they'll you'll get only the, the cheesy stuff. You'll That's get very subjective. It's very subjective, and they're very happy about it. You'll get selections from maybe the Nutcracker. Fair. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Also, Frank Sinatra. Sure. Okay. A little, right. Maybe a little Ella Fitzgerald. All right. All right. Nat King Cole. Sure. Okay. Most of the stuff they're going to be playing in their cheese-free zone cheese <laughs> free pre-1960. Anything after sometime in the early 60s, done. Really? Yeah. They're all just playing the old stuff. You don't like it? <sighs> I'm on the fence. I mean, I like hearing those songs, yeah. but I guess if you're in, if you're working in a retail and I you hear it constantly, ne- that's there's enough it's- kinds of Christmas music. I'm looking on all the iHeart Radio Christmas channels right now. There's I Heart the Holidays, I Heart Christmas, I Heart Christmas Country, I Heart Christmas R and B, I Heart Christmas Rock, North Pole Radio, I Heart Christmas Classics, Christmas Jazz, Club Jam Christmas, oh, mm-hmm. Sacred get it Christmas. All. Cut, there's enough variety. Yeah, but that you all, can take out certain songs that are truly annoying. It's just it's the same like you know twenty songs just done a million different ways. A different ways. <laughs> that's all. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the annoying and, part. So and that's, that's Chris- why I'm not sure which exact songs they're taking out. Please, I've had enough already. It's too soon. <laughs> too soon. Dave, Rachel, and Foreman. London's Pure Country 93.